Passing attack oh. is a lot of oh, receivers, geez, tight ends, ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first on. down, that fits the bill. Oh. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. That might be a touchdown for Joe Mixon. Yeah, man, it's caught inside the 10. Was that not Joe Mixon? Oh, that's not Joe Mixon. That is another touchdown. He's just dominating this game, bro. Giovanni Bernard, his first touchdown on the year. And the... Oh my God, they are so bad. This is the score of the Super Bowl, by the way. The, the Falcons. Over the middle, complete. Shots Ross. Yeah, he's gonna so what get if a solid choke? gain if of we... nine before being brought down second we, and right in the yard. Falcons. When you see zone defense, you know you got a drag route on as your primary call. You got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. Back to throw. Saw him right away. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively, but instead... Man. There we go. There's a finally in LA Rams. Oh, it was tonight, a field goal. They didn't score. Football. We'll see a game in the NFL there, 100 series. A rematch of the that very line. first AFL-NFL championship game. In a heavy traffic oh and it's God. intercepted. Picked up by John Johnson. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Okay. There's a touch. Oh now my God! We are the Falcons. Ready to see what they can do here. You got under a minute to go here until halftime. You got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play. Go ahead and take your lead into the locker room, and then try to add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, first half going my way. I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good players drawn up. You might want to think about him right here. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. So we have reached halftime here. Well, why don't we hold up? Okay. Now back to throw. Throwing oh my God, what was that? Incomplete. He was looking for John Ross that, that time. And that'll bring up second me. down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when the next defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Oh, there we go. Green ahead of him. The 20, 10, and all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Kenny Brin, 83 yards, and the Bengals are I'm able to grow their this lead. Game, but baby. Brandon, remind me again. I don't know where you are, Shannon. Throw the ball. Looking to throw. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. Give him seven on the play, and it's a second down. That's what I'm talking about. Nice kick, boy. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three. Yeah. And this is going to be cool. Oh. He won the fight for the that was football. Nice. 22 yards there, a first down. Yeah, so right here's a first and ten at the 38. Joe Mixon involved. It's Mixon on the counter. There we go. And brought down that wasn't a bad idea. Before they're inside the 25. 15 more there, okay. and they're on a roll. It's another first down. 
Well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now the Rams have got it. Go the other way. And they have possession. Oh and they have it at the 38-yard line. Didn't, I can't believe I lost the ball. They did score Cincinnati on that possession. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten, Mixon. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second and five. Got his man complete over the oh, middle. No. That's Ross. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 yards there, though. first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Here we go. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And finally taken down at the 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. Uh, John Johnson, one of the leading tacklers from the safety position in the NFL, there to make the stop. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? And will take it oh, there you go. for a Bengals touchdown. John Ross, his sixth touchdown nice. of the... That's a 20-point lead. Oh, nice goal. No, they didn't. Did they miss a field goal? It's crazy they didn't score. Now a play fake here on first down. Open man is Uzama. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. 12 yards there and a first down. And while we're seeing more and more of these plays come from the college game into the NFL, and that one, it was run with great success. How about the evolution of the offensive linemen? We're seeing less and less big guys who can't move, and more and more guys who are a lot more mobile and can get out in front of that type of a play. There to make the tackle, Samson Abuka. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Looking for his tight end, Eifert, and it's intercepted. Okay. Picked off by Akeem. That's okay. They did get a touchdown, so now the Bengal but you offensive might want to back out onto the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this go. exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. They'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And for Come on. The Bengals offense now, they head back onto the field. Only one timeout defensively, so this should just be a simple kneel down. I agree totally. I looked you at seriously? my time management chart. Oh, wait, it's a seven-point game. Victory formation. They just have one timeout left. 
And that should be all of can read that because nobody else can. <laughs> not with my chicken scratch. Not at all. And he's going to have to protect the ball and tapes here at this game. Behind the line. To start shooting. He won. Another point. Another Themselves can name to put up point. Model this is an offensive court. You just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass. It's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. But we got outplayed in every other quarter. So for the Bengals, sure. so they continue to cruise through this first, first half of the, the schedule as they move to eight and zero now on the campaign. And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for L.A., they'll fall to five and three with a loss, and they'll take this loss into the bye as they'll be back in action in week 10. <laughs> and for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon. Here we go. Upgrade player. Field general. Gonna end the stream here and then see what happens next time. Uh...